Well, I don't. It's already four oh six. We started a little late. I, I want to talk know. about my beef with Bin Laden. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now I made the brave assertion on Instagram, and again, this stems from these TikTok people who are like being like uh, simping for Bin Laden because he was anti-American and failed to read the rest of his manifesto in which he said specifically, the reason I did this attack is because you're all gay Jews who aren't Muslim, it's doing Sharia law, and uh, also you give loans. You loan with interest. There's a surprising amount of usury talk in that letter. They that really don't, I didn't, they really not down with the usury. Yeah. So they well, can get- Well, in Christianity is supposed to be against it too, but they've just kind of- Yeah, they don't care they about don't it. They don't take it that seriously anymore. So you're supposed to lend money without interest? Yeah, you're not supposed to charge interest. Well, on how are you gonna do that? Who's gonna do that? Uh, <laughs> you know who well, wrote? You know who wrote? You know what? I'm not gonna say. <laughs> the Jews. That's what a Jew would say. <laughs> um, Jews wouldn't loan money for no interest. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, oh, this no. is now a pretty antiquated uh, point of view. Obviously, the entire global financial system is based off of uh, exchanging money. You know what? You know what? You percentage. call giving people money without interest a gift? Yeah. Yeah. They're not getting that money back. Right. Yeah, uh, in the Bible, it says that it's immoral to charge people interest. If they if they need money, you should just lend it to them. Clearly, the whoever idea. wrote the Bible was broke as fuck. <laughs> Poor. Was I trying not. Said on the show, I famously pointed out on the show once that Jesus was broke. And I dunked on his ass. <laughs> you were what? You, know? <laughs> you ate him all the way up. What a fuck! Do people know that? Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! <laughs> um. So yeah, I took this brave stance. I saw this tweet, <coughs> and it had, its, and this moment, it got even more. But it had 160,000 likes, nine million views. So there's a lot of people on Twitter who are like, "Yeah, this is this guy's onto something." Do Americans actually know why Bin Laden did all that, or do they believe he hated that they can vote or something? And what's interesting to me is that when I actually read his writings and learned about it, it occurred to me that like, holy shit, that is what, that is kind of why he hates us. Um, which I think at the time, you know, it seemed like so stupid to me, like, uh, oh, they hate us for our freedoms, like what does it mean? But it, he says it right in his fucking thing, and I'll show that to you. I said, uh, he did quite literally hate Americans because they could vote and had freedoms. He specifically states in his writings the reasons. Homosexuality, lack of Sharia law, drug use, lending of money, and letting Jews run the country, or the world, frankly. Please read his writings before regurgitating tanky talking points and running defense for a mass murdering homophobic, anti-Semitic piece of shit. Fuck Bin Laden. Anyone trying to rewrite history? Well, can you imagine? People started lining up to die on this hill of defending bin Laden. I continued, by the way. So I wanted to uh, provide some excerpts from his letter. He said, what are we calling you to do? What do we want from you? Uh, he goes on to express the kind of conservative moral panic and righteousness that it's hard to believe a TikTok or whatever sport. That's true. We call on you to be a people of manners, principles, honor, and purity, to reject the immoral acts of fornication, homosexuality, intoxicants, gambling, and trading with interest. Fuck, dude. It's a lot of my favorite things. Dude, yeah. yeah. You are the worst Maybe civilization the witnessed by the history of mankind. And then here's another one, just again. He wrote a lot more, and it's all about, most of it is like shit like this. The first thing that we are calling you to do is to, sorry, let me reread that. The first thing that we are calling you to is Islam, complete submission to Islam, Islamism and of the discarding of all the opinions, orders, theories, religions which contradict with the religion. Bin Laden later railed against the U.S. Constitution, lamenting, you are the nation who, rather than ruled by the Sharia of Allah, and its constitutional laws, choose to invent your own laws and will as you desire. I mean, you know, democracy. That, that <laughs> you know, it, it's worth. Let's let's not oversimplify things to the point where Osama bin Laden's the good guy. I mean, 
Yeah. And as a Jewish person, I, I, I have a hard time just like accepting the fact that a guy who believed that like all Jews are evil and run the world, the world, right? Uh, that this is like a base to guy. Uh, you know, I'm not just, uh, anyway, whatever. So I was like, nobody's gonna actually die on this hill. It just annoys me, but they did. I mean, just as an American, you should have a problem with that. I, you know, like on one hand, like I understand that America fucked with the Middle East a lot and in a sense re reaped what it sowed. But at the other end, this guy is a terrorist it who fucking end. hates Western democracy, liberal democracy, freedom, rights for people. And that is not what the fuck we're about. Mm hmm. I mean, yeah, also as an Arab or a Muslim growing up after 9-11, like Osama bin Laden has always been like the idea of like evil in my mind, mm. uh, mm -hmm. you know, for obvious reasons, like a lot of Americans, but also because uh, what he did to our people, like mm. and how people looked at us and all the abuse that we've gone through because yeah. of him. Uh -huh. And Islam itself, just not going to go into de too deep about this, but Islam means peace. And Islam is all about for religious people is about you're supposed to share you could share the knowledge but never force someone hmm. uh, by any means to become a muslim interesting so just by to, any means uh huh so not flying an airplane no yeah no, none of that oh, okay. that, that doesn't count <laughs> that doesn't count <laughs> yeah gotcha. interesting they thought that that would we're like oh shit well you better you know what <laughs> i'm 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 seeing these guys are onto something after like 9 11. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. this cheese is spicy Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, if I, I if I want to uh, extend a little bit of grace to some of these people that you know I'm assuming have not actually taken the time to to fully read his manifesto or his writings or whatever, um, you know, there there are parts of it where he's critiquing you know U.S. imperialism and, and messing with countries in the Middle East, like you said, and it can come across as like okay, he's making some points here, but like you have to read on, like yes. you can't just read like the. You can't read the back cover on this one. Like you should, you should delve a little bit deeper because the further you read, the more it's like, oh, he's fucking insane. <laughs> okay. Yes, exactly. So the first thing I saw was uh, this dude named Comrade Casey, whose response to, uh, and again, I'm showing his literal words. Comrade Casey says, Ethan Klein has never heard of historical analysis, and I'm thinking like. We can analyze it all we want. That's his literal words. Like, he's just like, I hate Jewish people and I want to kill uh, people who have freedoms, who aren't, is, uh, who aren't following Sharia law all the time. And they're like, well, what did he really mean by that? It's like, he said what he fucking meant. Um, it's obnoxious, but this isn't actually the most obnoxious. Then comes everybody's favorite Hassan moderator, two-time rising star. Let's make it three. Frogan. I'm sorry, but the two time rising star thing is so funny. Like, you get that once. <laughs> Are you sure she's two time? Yes. I, I even fact checked it. <laughs> I even fact checked it. She won back to back. All right, let's, let's do a double fact check. <laughs> I think she only won it once. No. Hold on. Rising star award twice. Oh, she was nominated. So she won once and was nominated the next year. Yeah. So she didn't win twice. So, I mean, it's still funny. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess not as funny. <laughs> um, well, it's been long enough. Let's, let's get her back on the ballad. She said, <laughs> so here I am saying, actually, Osama bin Laden bad. And her response was, this motherfucker never shuts up. Oh, my God. I mean, you could shut up yourself. I'm just saying, but like. Well, every time I've gotten into it with her, she has st started and to put herself in the middle yes. of a charged conversation that I'm having. And then every time I say, "Okay, let's let's engage," then she's like, "I can't believe he would focus on a smaller creator." It's like, listen, just stop talking shit. You know. This is the girl who was on uh, in Hassan's Discord saying Ethan hates Arabs because I unfollowed her on Twitter. And remember where this all started. 
I quietly unfollowed her on Twitter because I did not want any issues. She was posting stuff about October, uh, about uh-huh. the about October seven that I thought was distasteful and was upsetting to me. And so I silently unfollowed her. I don't know what's a better way to do than that. And from that, she started, you know, shitting and pissing and saying that I'm Islamophobic, that I'm hate Arabs and that uh, all this kinds of stuff. And it's like, okay, well, let me say something about that. Um, so, of course, I, I had to respond here. And uh, I said, oh, here's what I said. I said, tankies falling over themselves to defend Osama bin Laden should tell you all you need to know about their movement. And you really do. It's like you can make, you can like give historical analysis, but this guy is literally saying like, wow, are you dumb that he hated us for our freedoms? And it's like, well, he did Mm -hmm. and other things. Mm -hmm. So what the fuck do you mean? Anyway, uh, here is Frogan telling me to shut up when I, hey, don't shut your mouth when you're criticizing Osama bin Laden. I said, this is a Hassan mod telling me, a Jewish man, to shut the fuck up because I dare to say Osama bin Laden was bad and hated Jews. Please understand this is why Leftovers ended and that her voice is not fringe within his community. And yeah, I mean, I've never come out and said it explicitly, but it is kind of, I think, I think I have more or less. But like, yeah, I mean, his community is the reason that I no longer wanted to do the show. It was... uh Not all of it, but like a large uh, contingency of it was really, uh, convers- in my opinion, not, not something I wanted to be involved in. The dialogue that they were having about us was pretty wild. It was, in my opinion, not something I wanted to be involved in and not something I certainly wanted to have on my channel and, pr- and promote and have yeah. people going, entering a community that uh, says such things about me. You know what I mean? Like. Now, I don't believe Hassan has these views, but uh, or at least he's not, he doesn't voice these views. I don't believe he does. He's more he's more thoughtful. But a lot of people, for some reason in his community, do have these views. And um, I continued on here. And again, as a Jewish man in a time of rising anti-Semitism, <coughs> like who the fuck are these people? to tell me what is and isn't anti-Semitic and Mm -hmm. what I should and shouldn't be offended by. Like imagine lecturing any other minority group on like uh, what is and isn't okay. And this whole Zionism thing is just so fucked up. It's basically a purity test on Jews. Mm -hmm. You gotta be, are you a good Jew or a bad Jew? So in what world is that normal to be like, sorry, no Zionists, death to Zionists. So you you go to all these campuses, no Zionists allowed. So are you, they're saying, are you a good Jew or are you a bad Jew? That's the conversation. And again, I emphasize this because I don't think people appreciate it, but 90% of the world's Jews would be considered Zionist. And I think that the, the whole Zionist thing is like a, again, not all Zionists are anti-Semitic, but a lot of anti-Semites are using this Zionism cover as like a, as a easy backdoor to being like deeply anti-Semitic. Because um, again, you're doing a purity check on me saying, are you the good Jew or the bad Jew? And that's just fucking insane. You can't do that to anyone else. And again, it's 90% that part of the propaganda is they convincing, convincing people that Zionism is uh, not the majority of Jewish people and that it's some fringe belief and stuff. Uh, but, but in actuality, it's 90% of Jews who support Israel. And if they hated, if they were overtly hating 90% of an ethnic group, that would make them racist. So it's kind of like a mind game, mind trick to allow them to be racist, uh, without having to be racist. And again, it's also the way the word is being used. I don't feel like it's being deployed like a slur. Yeah. If somebody says that to me, it they, feels, I get called that all the time. It feels like they are cursing me, and it feels like a bad word. Oh, it is. They use it like that. And again, I'm a Jew, who is like, by by any means, certainly, if I am Zionist, the least Zionist of all of them, 
Mm -hmm. But I get called a Zionist up and down the fucking internet all day, every day, by Nick Fuentes people, by Sneeko people, and by Hassan people. You know? And, like, I shouldn't have to fucking take it. You know? We were, t we, we were taught that uh, being a racist, for the last two decades, that being a racist is the worst thing you can be. Right. And I, and I happen to agree that it's a very bad thing to be. However, when it comes to Jews, it's like, I'm oh, not you, though. You're a Zionist. Also, Zionism, again, when I say Zionism, it's not about Middle East domination. It's not about racism. It's not about uh, apartheid. It literally just means that, like, Jewish people having a, a country. That's all it means. Everything else is extra. Everything happening in the West Bank and Gaza is extra. It's just to do with Jews wanting to have a homeland. It was galvanized specifically after World War II when all the surviving Jews said, like, let's not fucking do that again. And they said, let's get a country so we don't have to rely on other countries to protect us and to, like, tolerate us because, you know, as we know, the history of the Jewish people is just, like, expulsion after expulsion and then, and then into Holocaust. And so they said, it came from this desire. It predates World War II, but it was galvanized afterwards to say, like, we, need, we should get a country so we don't have to do this anymore. That's it. That's all it is. And um, read the polls. I, I think it's, people need to reckon with this fact that 90% of Jewish people think that the state of Israel is important to their identity mm -hmm. or that means something to them. Again, all the other bad shit, the, like, uh, you know, the uh, warmongering, war cabinet, Netanyahu, the fucking, all the checkpoints in the West Bank and all the war happening in Gaza and all this types of shit is extra. It's got nothing to do with Zionism. This is just a bad government doing bad things. Right. Yeah. That's so, you know, <coughs> it's frustrating. And it's hurtful to see people who are, and by the way, the thing with Frogan too is like, she was apparently a big fan of the show for years since we started doing leftovers. And I was, I've never hid my views. Like I am openly, I married an Israeli. I lived in Israel. So I don't know what all of a sudden, like I'm a Zionist all of a sudden. It's like, well, I don't know. But imagine saying to someone who was like, Osama bin Laden bad, actually, this motherfucker never shuts up. Somebody said, and, um, I can't remember who, but I'd like to give you credit that it's like when the quartering, he quote tweeted, he has this famous quote tweet where he goes, uh, someone said like Hitler is bad. And then he's quote tweeted and said like, there we go. Yikes. It's like Osama bin Laden bad. Frogan's like, yikes. Uh, you know, why even stick your neck out there for Osama bin Laden? So I responded to the inevitable anger. <clears throat> Let me say I give zero fucks about Frogan's crocodile tears. I'm not saying she actually cried, by the way. I saw people saying, did she actually cry? I don't know. If I was just talking. Just that she complains when I talk about her, that I'm a big uh, creator and I shouldn't talk about small mm -hmm. creators. <clears throat> she has inserted herself in the middle of my conversations many times and cries when I respond to her. She's an official representative of Hassan's community, and the pressure should be on her to behave better and not make his commun entire community look bad. And I also blame Hassan for continually hand-waving her, her, her horrific behavior to the point that it feels to me like an endorsement. And this is, this is the issue. And fuck Osama bin Laden and this life and the next, yeah. Um, that's my problem. Frogan's been doing this shit, and people like her... The whole mod team, from what I've seen, or most of them, are very much this. I mean, and, you know, it makes Hassan look bad. Mm -hmm. it, it makes me, as his friend, feel bad. And it makes me feel like he's endorsing their opinions. You know, it's one thing for to tell me in private, like, you know, just so you know, like, like she's just this way, and uh, I know that she doesn't mean it, and all this kinds of stuff, and... But like it's another thing to publicly continue to platform her and 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 also not to address a massive portion of your audience that is just straight up fucking anti-Semitic. Uh, 
and and not all. Obviously, like the vast majority of them are are cool, and a lot of people watch both of our shows, and that's cool and good. But there is a lot of people in his audience, and I don't believe he's willing to reckon with this that are anti-Semitic. They are, um, or just like overly hateful, even not, mm -hmm. not even anti-Semitic, just like right. overly hateful, you know. Um. So that's what I mean here uh, to call out Hassan a little bit is that as my as a friend of his, I feel like absolutely fucking worthless to, to the way he's running his community. And I just think like if one of our mods was like shit talking one of my friends, like they would not be working with us. You know what I mean? If like one of our if like uh, uh if Avery, God bless his soul, and he's the sweetest guy ever and would never do anything, but like if he started tweeting with like calling Tana like a skank and a slut or something, <laughs> I mean, that's, I'm just, I'm being hyperbolic. But you think that we would be cool with that? That I would let him continue to be a moderator and to continue to have uh, lead conversations in our Discord and our chat? Fuck that. Hell no. You know? No. So I say this with great uh, regret, and, and I hate to be controversial on this Friday, but fuck Osama bin Laden. Wow. I know it's a brave stance to take, and, uh, and, 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 and I, I hate to have to be the one to say it, but fuck Osama bin Laden. Oh, I saw Frogan's response. like, I never said I support Osama bin Laden. It's like, well, what did you mean then? She said the same thing before when she was like, what did you think resistance looked like in referring to October 7th? And I'm like, well, what do you mean by that? She goes, I wasn't saying that they're the good guys. Well, what do what you mean? What does it mean when you tell Ethan to shut up? When I'm saying Osama bad. <laughs> this mother, I mean, listen, you got, if you don't know what your words mean, then you need to be probably entering, not entering this conversation. If you can't choose your words good enough, because I, there's no reason, other reasonable way to interpret that. Uh, in my opinion, you know, and that's basically my explanation. I got tilted. I've been upset about all the anti-Semitism that I'm seeing. I mean, listen, it's so commonplace. It's everywhere on the internet. I've never seen it like this in my lifetime. It's nonstop. This guy's running up on me. I mean, essentially, again, calling us Zionists. Saying I look like a rapist and that I'm ugly. I mean, uh, poor Brad Taste has had to apologize for taking a picture with us. Right, right. And, uh, exactly. Having a whole storm in his life ever since. I feel like. I, by the way, speaking of Brad, poor Brad. Yeah. His life has fallen apart ever yeah. since he met me. Did you think about that? All this terrible stuff happening is. Hopefully, it takes a break and Brad. takes. Uh, I don't know. Takes good care of himself. Let's get him into Brad the Bull. Let's build him up. Brad the bull. Yeah, so I know a lot of y'all don't want to believe it and you don't want to hear it, but we don't let other people just sit and take the take like racism and disgusting shit being said about them. And so, you know, I'm not going to sit here and take it about Myself and I've never in my life had to like address anti-semitism or anything like this. You know what I mean? Like I've never seen it like this before ever um, And it's troubling You know and I don't talk about it all the time and I don't plan to really talk about it at, at all ever unless it just like comes up like this Because listen Jews aren't the most uh, It's not like they're the most uh, Oppressed group. I mean Jews in America are, enjoy a lot of of uh, freedom and uh, respect within the culture. Um, some people said it's the golden age of Jews uh, in America. <coughs> and that's true. But I'm also seeing really concerning things that I feel is important to call out. And a lot of that stuff I'm seeing fester in Hassan's community, starting with his mods, who are official representatives. Like the first thing is here's, just, here's a question. Yeah, go ahead. What is the difference between Hassan having a friendship and being charitable with Frogan and Ethan being buddies with Mag MAGA supporters who say extremely racist shit all the time? Well, they're not official it's, representatives of my show. Yeah. I don't employ I don't employ Steve will do it to moderate my chat and to lead conversations in my Discord. Mm -hmm. And I don't endorse him. 
Like if Steve will do it, does say something racist, I'm going to say that was fucking racist. And I, and it's got nothing to do with me. We participated. Just because I said hi to him once or sat at a poker table with him once. Yeah. We is, participated is, at the same event. He, he so it doesn't mean anything about us working <laughs> together or Steve no, having any say about what kind of conversation is going to happen at our podcast. Yeah, I mean, but listen. And the moderators are an extension of you. They're ex an extension of Ethan right now where if there's yeah, something going on the in the chat that we are not okay with, like somebody saying a slur, they're going to remove that. Yeah, they represent the show. And it's not the first time, again, Frogan, this is time and time again, where he's not, he's allowing this to continue to happen. And I mean, just Hassan stayed friends with people like Aiden Ross and XQC. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that.